Hello, hello. We are playing Call of Cthulhu. <sighs> the tentacle monster. I have monsters here, but they're not tentacle monsters. Okay, we're not clicking new game this time. We're clicking load game. I'm not doing that same mistake again. Oh, I know what I forgot to do this weekend. I forgot to play Mirror Forge until the point where I was at before I messed up. Yep, I forgot to do that. Good to know. <sighs> Well, that answers that question. mention. Pierce woke up right at the very end. Right, right. Cthulhu is awesome. Cthulhu is pretty good. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. Sorry for the banging. The dogs are eating bones. He met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley who helped him escape, and wandering through the corridors of this place where the Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders before dying in full view of the detective and, you know, being thrown up in the air. He accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The companions in misfortune decide to have to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. The policeman likes the lady friend. I was trying not to do all the dialogue and, like, give it away in case one of them was actually bad, but, you know, pretending to be good and... It didn't seem to be able to work that way. Were you with us last time, Fentel? We decided to go to the Sanders window and not speak about it. I don't know if that was the right answer or not, but we decided not to speak of it. And look, it's daytime, finally. It's not nighttime and raining. You weren't here? Darn. We were in an sale asylum. Insane asylum. <laughs> and uh, and she let us out of the, the padded room and said to meet Bradley at the top of the stairs. And they were going to try and distract the guards um, so that he could sneak out. Or that I could sneak out, sorry. Um, but he tried distracting the guards, but then the doctor came and was like, no, 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 stop being silly, blah, blah, blah. So then we had to escape on our own. Um, we almost got caught, but then Bradley came and saved us. And then we came back here and... Apparently, she's been trying to report Dr. Fuller all this time for mistreatment of patients because she doesn't think it's right what's going on down there, and she has no proof to show the actual policemen. So, the fact that I got out was able to show them that, yes, they are crazy. Well, they're not crazy. Ooh, I don't want to have a drink. Apparently, the things I do in this game changes my destiny. Can't play the piano. Ooh, another drink. Okay. And whilst we were talking, we decided that we were going to go talk to Sanders' widow and tell him, tell her that he's dead. But we won't talk about what killed him because it will just upset her. Which then had the whole, Ch -ch -ch, this changes your destiny, the little thing about Bob too. Because, you know, this game plays like a choose your own adventure novel. Which isn't terrible, it's just not scary. Okay, talk to Sanders' widow. Shall we go? Tentacles! Exactly, Grim. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decide to team up to solve the Sarah and Hawkins place. Oh, and they've also said that the the man in the mansion, the man, the man she married, is not the actual crazy person. She's the crazy person. Apparently she's the one who draws these terrible artworks, and when you look at them, you go crazy. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. The shambler is the painting. 
What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawk. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Oh, look, it's Cat, well, the mob lady. Look who's here. Oh, is it your daddy? You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, oh, okay, Irene. so it's not her dad. We'll carry on later. Oh, look, there in the are, painting on the wall, it's the same... I don't have a mouse. This it's way, the, it's the same jacket that she's wearing. She looks exactly the same. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Look, it's the same jacket. Look. I guess maybe it's a house coat. Maybe she just wears the same house coat every time. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah. She Hart. does like her jacket. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Oh, were you jealous? Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see Jim, him where is it since to he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Her weird gray lipstick you is very upsetting. When he had this attack, what happened? Were you present? Yes, he died screaming right before my eyes. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I expected to find you more grief-stricken than this by the death of your husband. I do not like the tone of your illusion, sir. I have Why is she so to weep every tear in my body, and to accept, if not my fate, at least that of my husband. And so I'm sorry to disappoint you if you're expecting more hysteria and grieving widow in my voice. Rest assured, however, my anger is real. I need to understand. How, how could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes. Hey, I never said it was right before my eyes. To help hey, 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 I never said that. Let's, let's test my eloquence. It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with Got it. Got that bowl cut? I was injured, yeah. and I came across him in the hospital it's quite the by chance. edgy haircut injured. of the 20s. Well, I'm delighted no, thank you. to see you in such fine fettle, detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now. For stranger beings. Luck well. is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me and then leave. Looks like Vector from Despicable Me. <laughs> Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. Well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Oh, we're gonna want to look at the painting. No heed. And then we're gonna part, go crazy. I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Hello. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Oh, you look so proud. My goodness. Sarah Hawkins and Irene. All right. 
She doesn't look happy. Did she really care for him after all? I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I am sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you signed a discharge, allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's reconstruct whatever scene it is that he thinks is here. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Oh, good lord! A man and a woman that's not his wife? Friends? A house of artists. A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. Everything is black and white? Yes, Hawkins we're like... Fear so much that we're... we're to sell a painting. We're recreating the scene. So we go into a mode with like hints and stuff where we recreate the scene and then we think about what we've He finally won. Was Sanders aware learned. of his imminent doom? She doesn't look happy. She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Irene hated it. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? He's cheering in front of his painting. Well, it's not his painting, it's her painting. It's this one. She drew it. Oh, tentacles? Oh, yes, he is cheering in front of her painting. Yeah. I need to see. I need to see it. Okay. We just very awkwardly leave this woman. Actually, I haven't. How many points? Do we have any points? Three CP available. You want to quit? Yes, because I didn't mean to actually put something in there. Uh, four CP available. Four CP needed for eloquence so we can talk our way out of things. There we go. very strange aspect to this game is that there are skill points that you can put into different things that give you different choices of of dialogue let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phone An audio recording that francis left for his wife all right yeah, it's a good thing that we're doing this right in front of her too right irene i made a mistake i fear that it might be too late for me Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Oh, is that why the mansion burned down? He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time were you at the beginning, eyes. Grim, to understand where we're at, like why we're here in the first place? Slips on a banana and he has oof. I can't take No, unfortunately anymore. not. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Accursed paintings that accursed Sarah. Are you telling me you don't have another word in your vocabulary other than accursed? Terrible, horrible, vicious. Okay. Oh, hello, cat. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Uh, I don't know. I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. I mean, all you did but was kick me in the gonads, come way, on. You're free to carry on with your visit. Now that I know what's going All on, fair, I, I know what to expect. War, I suppose. You just gotta, you know, protect the family jewels and we're good. Strength. Let's do it. Oh, I did it. Nice. Key to the Sanders Gallery. I have a feeling that I could have done that without any putting any points into it. 
Would you read the book? Let's read the book. No. Oh. Kind of an encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. Beginning to believe they exist. This will affect my destiny. And finding certain books in the game increase my my knowledge. I could use one of those. No, I, I don't. I'm not going to. A strange Amerindian pendant. Okay. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend congregation are having since their arrival on the island. The members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their vis visions as messengers sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. Well, you should be nervous. Ooh. One more clue. Strange. Dear friends, For months, I beg Sarah you Hawkins to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has me. any meaning to you, please spare me the weight of guilt. Do not be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the Chandler, your friend Sarah Hawkins. Well, that's why she didn't seem happy about it she actually didn't want to sell him the shambler so what made her decide to sell the shambler anyway oh my goodness i looked at this gallery so his house is not just a house it's a museum These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Oh. oh, 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 okay. Place to hide, good to know. Why is he wrestling a duck? The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Interesting. Oh, I just, oh, I picked up some oil for my lantern. I know the shambler is right there. I just don't want to take a look yet. I want to look at everything else first, just in case. Oh, oil and oil. Okay. My cupboard to hide in. Oh, all I'm doing is saying, hmm. Why was he so interested in old weapons? We're ready. You can hide from the tentacle monster, yes. There are cupboards, but the longer I'm in the dark, um, the more distorted my world becomes. So I can't stay in there forever. Tentacles? Tentacles? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's not tentacles.
What the hell was that? No, no. But apparently we need to move. gonna run. How about this? Layers of fear. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. We're hiding in the closet. I don't know what to do. Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. That thing is loud. Yes, it is. We just like walk up to it and stab it. Is that what we're supposed to do? You think? Stab it. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. That's really loud. Okay. Boom. Easy. <laughs> exactly. I honestly have zero idea what to do. Okay, the stabby... I don't walk up and stab him, but I can pick up a knife. That's good, I guess. Can we skip? Yes, we can. What the hell was that? I don't know. But we can run. There's one this way too, right? Yes. I'm assuming the front doors are going to be locked. Uh, Force field? I can't even touch it. Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. <gasps> oh, God. oh God, it totally saw me. Ah. How am I so, okay, wait, 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 How wait. No, nope. okay. <sighs> okay. Totally saw me go in. It's just to look cool. can hide in closets. I can grab a knife. What the hell was that? Does he even notice me? I don't think it noticed me. Right? Oh, and there it is.
that maybe I can use this dagger. Understand. Call of Zulu. I don't. I don't get what I'm supposed to do. We're locked in here. So we can't take anything. Hey, Cara. How's it going? I have a boss to fight in this room, so familiarize yourself with it. Go past the Shambler painting, pick up the drawing off the ground, pay attention to the shape as you'll need to find that dagger. If you're back to the Shambler, head into the right room. At the back of the right room, near the statue, is a display case. Go to the Shambler painting and examine it. When the fight starts, sprint to the left door. And then straight to the dagger case in the back. Okay, so I'm picking up the wrong dagger. Because there was a painting that I didn't look at which indicated the correct dagger to use. I'm okay. I'm trying to, to do this point in the game and we were terribly confused. But apparently it's because there's three daggers to choose from and I've picked up two of them. And both of them are incorrect. What the hell was that? We're running, we're running, we're running. Oh, oh, it's us. That's really loud. But I love that you can skip scenes and stuff too. What the hell was that? I don't that? have to do I don't have to do the same thing over like I don't have to watch the same scene over and over again. I think it's in the other room, it's not in this room. Turn it off. Okay, it's not that dagger right there. I think it's in the back of the room right there, where we're staring at.
Oop. It didn't like that. Oop. It got me. Stab it. Stab it. the arm. Cut it off. Do it. Do it. What's the matter with you? Oh. Okay. Achievement from beyond and the thing on the doorstep. Not. Not. You sure you won't be needing that hat? Ned. You're losing it, detective. Ned. At this rate, you're right. Thank you. The bottle will get you before I do. Hey, I have had one drink since I started you didn't this game. See anything. I saw Only you one. within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Y yeah, take a look at this photo. Why am I not allowed to say it? Oh. I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back. I think. I. I think so too. But, wait, what? You knew about the monster? You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter what? yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary... I'm just taking it. <laughs> you should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Is she a tentacle monster? Yes, Irene is much sad. Very sad. Standing in front of the painting of herself with the same jacket on. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins as a creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back to the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Alger Al Algernon Drake owner of the nameless bookstore pierce decides to pay a little visit to the library a bookstore and a library are two completely different things you have more studying to do okay study 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 read them books not too many jump scares to be had so i won't be i won't be startling you with my screaming today i don't think anything it'll be mostly the dogs eating the bones on the floor that you hear the crunch 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 on <laughs> where is the bookseller where is the bookseller indeed another volume of the mm, river the pastor Sky. declared himself to be the prophet he renounced god and worshiped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance his wife tried to reason with her husband but in vain he was convinced that he must listen to this voice in his head because it holds the truth well well I don't know about you, but I'm starting to put together the, uh, this island and its nonsense. Ooh. Ooh. Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. Of course. It's yeah. the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Yep. Medicine progression. Heck yeah. Dark water history. It's a Puritan colony led by Reverend John Wykewood. Settled on the island during the 17th century. They named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. Who would live on such an island? Who would choose to live? Such a oh, hello. Handbook on anatomy and dissection. Oh, hello. 
Will you read the book? Yes. Of course I would. What does this I? strange book contain? This book contains oh. unholy knowledge. This affected my destiny. <gasps> we found what it is. This collection classifies creatures that I've never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another, it presents itself as a reference work on the bestiary of the myth, without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Hmm. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Mm, some people believe truth. More medicinal knowledge. Pretty sure I got more knowledge in general. How much CP? Two CP. Okay. I don't really need the hidden spots, I'm fine. But it's always nice to be able to talk your way out of things. You don't need strength when you can, you know, talk someone into giving it up for you. <laughs> okay. That's not what I meant. This is two different rooms. I'm gonna do the other room first. What happened here? Oh, that is a good question, sir. Flashbang warning. Let's start over. Where did they break in for blood? Seems like amateur work. Seems like someone's angry and just wanted to get in here. They weren't trying to be sneaky about it, or else they would have tried to hide their tracks some more. They just wanted in. They wanted in now. Someone tall left his footprint. A man, probably. Well, not taller than you, apparently, because, you know... Quite short compared to you. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was Drunk? he hurt then? That's true. You left a footprint. Is there anything over here that maybe you know came in through the front door? Smashed a bottle. Walked that way. So he probably went in here. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What sort of thief leaves his tool? What killed all these animals? <laughs> so many questions. Oh. oh, I don't know if this is good or not. Bad? Good, bad. What the? Charles Hawkins? <laughs> What's happening to Hawkins? It's turning into a tentacle monster. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Or maybe it was special and locked. <laughs> fancy book. There's a fancy Sarah book. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Yes, she did. Yeah, we're missing something. We're still missing something. I feel like I'm in the Matrix. Gotten something. I'm missing something. I haven't clicked on something. Okay, keep 
broke the jar. He left a footprint. And go back in this room. Oh, here we put go. in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. The burglary. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Page seems to be hidden here. It's, it is possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs. There will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this place of real in this plane of reality, okay? In order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acutely as sharp as mine, who can hope to gain access to my most precious possession? It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as if the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents to the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage, of Miskatonic University. The contents of the safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that it represents, and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you, nor to suffer from your actions. Very true. Very true. Hello, Grabs. Okay, so... So, three cylinders, each hidden, where life and study combine in the Greek world. Life and study combine in the Greek world. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yes. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a very heavy chain. Years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose is to push back the for forces of the Great Old Ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips off to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows the true purpose of the artifact. <sighs> I think, I think he knew. I think his he knew his wife was painting such terrible things, and uh, thought that this was the only way to save them. How's it going, Grabs? Arkham editions. Never heard of them. A luxurious collection of treaties and works on exorcism and the supernatural. How many volumes are there in this collection? Texts that claim in the distant past, Europe and the other continents were controlled by the mothers of this people, and moreover, that our alphabet is derivative from the Frisian language. Another volume by Arkham editions. This collection of tests on different beliefs was written by a legendary philosopher and includes a translation of the Emerald Tablet, a popular text among 16th century alchemists. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Solomon? This. Another volume this, by uh, Arkham editions. 
said that the opera was performed only once and resulting in an audience riot that left several dead and missing. This is like, um, Song of Horror. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Okay, so... Another volume by Arkham editions. Nightmare lyrics. Okay, so the code is obviously picking the correct three books. How am I supposed to know what the correct three books are? Things are not looking good. A kind of chalice. Goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. Do the rubies and sapphires make up a specific motif? Well, yes. Yes, they do. So the code is a three-digit code. Easy peasy. Zero to nine. The clue The clue Yes, but where's the thing that I just read? This thing. Okay. Lies within my safe and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Does it just mean Greek numbers? Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but the disorder is the delight of the imagination. And indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. Please don't tell me. It says in cylindrical in thingamabobs. There's no, like, I don't have to turn them all. There's no. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Nothing on the back, is there? Arkham Editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Upper and eight acts. It says they're in cylinders. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Big Solomon. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. How am I supposed to know? I'm very much so at a loss of how to know what the combination should be. I get that it's supposed to be the book, but... <sighs> I have to be missing something. We've clicked in all three of those. We found the clue in the safe. There's 
No clue anywhere else. Nothing to click on. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Yes, maybe I should perhaps listen to them. I didn't see a phonograph though. In his office? Nope. Down here. Okay, number one. Oh, E to listen. Red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Okay. That's supposed to help me? I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. Mm. I see our number dwindling. White. And my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, white, white. How many? One, three? Because the queen doesn't count. Three, still on the board. Dear friend. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. Well, that one just gave I away its nine, is browsing it? Through them. That's the first one. So three and the nine. Drops, like precious stones it's red like drops. Set in divine gold. Oh, that's the goblet. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Red droplets? And these red drops. Red, like red. Stones lie fixed, set in divine gold. The chalice red. of knowledge. One, two, three, four, five. I think. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Willing to pay. Five, three, nine. Uh, change lock is D? No. S to rotate. Five. Three. Nine. Uh, E. Ba, ba, ba. I was gonna say, if it wasn't five, it was probably four or six. The other two just, you know, basically gave it away. And it just said the numbers and all the cylinders. That is a big book, yes. It's a bad book. You missed the giant boss coming out of the painting that we had to find a dagger and go. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Tentacles? Oh, there's people back there. You see the people? Are we transcending dimensions? It's no better than to transcend dimension. Ooh. In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of the attempted burglary. Burg burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the letter and Sarah Hawkins has hidden there. A book covered in human skin lied inside. Lied inside? It should be laid inside. Irresistibly attractive. The detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Ooh, where are we going? Going.
I like how every time it actually loads it up, we have to confirm. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Maybe he just don't want to talk to you. Very well. I'll examine him. Examine the dying patient. All right. 30 year old subject. Severe hypothermia. That's no Erythematous good. papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, tissue. this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Why is his fingers and toes slightly sticky? Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Oh, doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances I seem don't to know what you like sticky. of a foreign body. <laughs> so, doctor, <clears throat> an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? Well, no. of that I'm Can't certain. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> Bumpity bump it's bumps. not like he could be pregnant. Oh, Whatever maybe it is, something foreign inside of him. Come on. This man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Oops. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. Well, I'm calling you a know? surgery. I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. Oh. He hasn't eaten in days. No. Whatever, Doctor. You know. Okay. I see Severely signs hydrated. of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better. Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a fusion. <laughs> that doesn't explain his condition. How would you as a nurse describe that about someone? This man needs an aquarium. Seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer He's a mermaid. than that of a newborn baby. <laughs> what about his he has brain? sticky things on his toes it's and his fingers. Touch. And she thinks that he needs to it be in a bath of water. Like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. Sticky. sticky. Yep. I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I already did. I said surgery. His man's got something in his body. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What a very odd way what of do saying. Mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. Okay, so I say it in the most no. vague way possible, and she jumps this to aliens. Is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. Unnatural. This transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? No, Dr. I Fuller. I that it's not here. Dr. Cole. And she calls it an infection. May I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Mm. Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone. Nor Marie? Your so I, I call you Dr. Fuller and you call me Marie. Patients, provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not Those your people guinea are pigs. not your guinea pigs. There, there. What wow, so I'm a doctor, but he's just placating me like a child. 
Maximum disrespect. Absolutely. Um, you're turning him into a monster. These are <laughs> alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. The catatonic man that has not responded to anything. He isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? He does have a fancy vest, yes. What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical <laughs> this doctor, what do you mean? Tell me what you see. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. Overreacting. For this man and the others who's <sighs> telling a doctor under your care I to have calm to down. My discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready That's yet. It's your job. It will be. I don't owe you I'm... anything. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one Marie. day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. So what, he just like tossed me to the easy patients who just need a guiding hand? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one Hello, of our Hina. profession's most You know a vampire when you see one? <laughs> Boss no walk. If I my word is of no this, weight, so even though I'm a doctor, it's, it's his voice. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Mm -hmm. I didn't oh, find that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? So I don't know In if this is place. happening now or what if this is happening caught? previous. I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your The discretion. patriarchy in full force course, again. Doctor. Yes. You can Absolutely. count on me. I'll keep mom. An unknown medicine. Mm -hmm. Judging by the other mm -hmm. ones, it causes heavy side effects. <laughs> Another dub for the boys. <laughs> oh dear. No use having a chamber pot with a man who is dying of dehydration. We need to get into Fuller's office. Oh. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Never lets you go. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. About. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. She's so talking to herself. Unfair. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is I think this room to be here. such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And what the water was me? Was once again, shut off this morning. The water shut off. It's all by myself. And everything's so much cleaning. To belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? Yeah. Do you I can't really make need these her? decisions without her approval? Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half Fire the time. old hospital so scary. So every exactly. time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. No, nope. hold on. see. Courage, Elizabeth. Courage. Thank you, doctor. God. The place is a mess. Oh, this is where they strap them in so that they can bathe them. And dry them off. Not gonna lie, this looks super creepy. They like you put them in, and then their their neck sits out right there. They're all what are you chloroforming them? My goodness. Imagine if you get too hot water poured over you. Um, that's a good question, Hina. That's a good question indeed.
I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Sassy pants. I have things to do too, Mrs. Donovan. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Uh, over there. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. It looks more like an asylum. Nonetheless. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Uh, just gonna slide right in Dr. here. <laughs> Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Okay, Mrs. Donovan. We need to distract Donovan. Cut off the- oh, we have to cut off the water. Oh, we have to put that poor nurse into, like, more distress. Yeah, see? Peanut butter sandwich. Mm mm mm. Where did my fiance go? I have no idea, well, I sir. Hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Ooh. Hello, Bradley. Ethan. Marie. I... Oh, sorry. What Hello, happened? Ethan. I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Medication? What? Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? Like no. the rest of the island? Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. Because you were they stabbed stupid, in the belly by a tentacle man. Terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Mad, see? So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? Oh, now you believe me. Yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Dark Water is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any Are you sure that's patient doctor confidentiality? Oh. But... There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. You put jam on your sandwich, or do you just put peanut I don't butter? Don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Well, there's patients everywhere. Um, is it a peanut butter and jam sandwich, or is it just a peanut butter sandwich? Peanut butter and banana? P peanut butter and and, and honey? You know what we used to do sometimes too? Is you put peanut butter on one side of the sandwich and then you sprinkle a little bit of sugar on it. You should try it. Put it on like one one corner of your bread. Sprinkle a little bit of white sugar on top of your peanut butter. And then eat it. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. In dormitory B. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I'll see to it right away. Okay, don't and worry. The me. family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. Oh. Eyelashes are so what creepy. What state is he in now? They look like weird, you go like see old yourself, dolls. Doctor. You should go see yourself. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? That was me. That was that was me. That must be the man that they brought up from the basement. Sorry, but oh. nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. All right. Storage room, okay. So we need to go to dormitory B. We need to see the man that they brought up from the... From the... Pharmacy. Bathroom, administration, lock no, A. I'm pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. 
And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan? Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. Not so the goose lets herself be trodden. Oh, well. At least we won't have to clean for a while. Rude. Just wait and see the next Catty time. women. It's a real show. Oh dear. Okay, so the next time the water shut off, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Okay. Did you speak a little bit of sugar? Honey is also fantastic. Bring a little bit of honey on it too. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Yeah, it looks disgusting. It's also getting cold sitting out on the desk. Sorry, I had me thinking about peanut butter, so now I'm distracted. Dormitory B. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. Yes, this here This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. I, I Sir, I'm going to, to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. Yes, exactly. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. I, I can't move. Oh, there we go. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Mm. You did good work. The tranquilizer is kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, Doctor. And as to his weight loss? I'll prescribe an antifungal treatment for his disgusia. In the meantime, Discusia. feed him intravenously. It'll be done. Oh, okay long and complicated and not really sure if it was necessary. That man has a mustache. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. That seems, that just seems silly. Why would you do such a thing? It seems so silly. Oh man. <gasps> Key to the boiler room. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Oh. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Yeah, because he's like pumping stuff down into the air down there. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Good. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Ah! <gasps> this is- Mrs. Sanders? Mrs. Sanders. She. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? The file describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute, as well as the treatments administered to her. Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to take her down to psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest that she needs. So it's a hospital on top, but it's a psychiatric like area in the basement where Fuller gets to use anyone that he recommends to go down there as guinea pigs. <laughs> Please, uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. A ventricular fibrillation. Nurse, Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with two percent glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll That's tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Okay, we saved him. Saved him because I'm amazing. Hay fever. What's he doing here? I, I don't know. You tell me, game. What are you doing here, sir? He looks like his eyes are swollen shut. Okay, block A. Now we need to go into the boiler room. Wherever the heck the boiler room is. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Only half? That's the man that we have been trying to look after. <sighs> okay, the, 
boiler room. The boiler room. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. Pharmacy. Locker room. We went in here. Did you try sugar with it, Grabs? You could definitely make a... You can make a peanut butter sandwich and cut it into four. One corner, you put some sugar on it. One corner, you put some honey on it. One corner, you put some jam on it. And then the other corner, you can just have it as your plain peanut butter. Be perfect. You can try all of it. Okay, where's the boiler room? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Let's just sneak in here, shall we? That's it? That all, that's all we do? Okay. We don't smash it or break it, we just turn the handle. Okay. Okay. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. <laughs> Are you serious? I've been wandering around this, this hospital and I have needed a tool this entire time. I haven't seen anything like a tool. What kind of tool could I possibly need? I think it's from that storage room that I'm not allowed to enter until she finishes it. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Far too high. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Until we incapacitate Dr. Fuller. Knock him over the head. <sighs> oh, tool? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Okay, maybe we go talk to Donovan now. And we're like, Donovan, please get us the stuff that we need. Uh, that's another storage room. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Nope. She just standing there now? Yeah, she's just standing there. Like, a sentry. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. No, but rest. That I will. Okay. Okay. We need a tool. We need a tool so that we can close the thing. All by our little self. Because I'm a little girl who needs help. Men's bathroom. Says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. An Pharmacy. Block A. There's that one storage room. <sighs> okay, what, um, random door? Oh, hello, toilet. <laughs> Find a tool. Found the monkey wrench. I feel guilty about Elizabeth. But I need the diversion. Do I have to do anything else? 
It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Uh huh. Did we not do the thing? Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. You, you got this, girl. Could do it. You got this. Where, where are you going? Mrs. Donovan, I'm busy. Sneaky, sneaky. At last, the missing the Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Oh, did I click on the one thing that I needed to click on? Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, oh. D is change mast. We can rotate. I've unlocked something. <laughs> I'm amazing. Patient files. I was right. We listened to it right in his office as well, too. Oh Hello, my goodness. Hello, Thrifty Seeds. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. Bruh. Bruh. Thanks for following. Patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. <laughs> Every time we see Sarah Hawkins, she's like hunched over more and more. Like, just because she's an artist Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? Means that she must be, uh, she must be crazy. Why was her blood the key? Why is Ethan on medication? Nothing. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Nope. People up here too. Um, James, I write the chart of every sequence for me. Yep. I presume that you will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Sooner or later. You are prepared to pump a whole bunch of hallucinogenic uh, Hawkins, air. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? Well, there was a picture of the three of them. That I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. What did they do? What did he do? Partially burned she seemed like it belonged to <gasps> she didn't actually die. She died in the hospital. She died in the hospital, but they made the fire in the building in her house to uh to throw people off the trail. Bum 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 Anything else to look at? It says there is. Though I don't see anything. You usually get a check mark in the bottom left hand corner if I've seen all the clues that I need to see. But I didn't get one for this. Okay, I guess this is all that I get. How's it going, Thrifty Sneeze? How was your stream?
I must go back to the basement. Oh, why do we have to go back to the basement of all places? I should go another way. I'm gonna get caught. Five bucks says I'm gonna get caught. No? Ooh, I didn't get caught. Down to the psychiatric wing. Those are some steep stairs. Well, that's no good. What the? What the what? Oh, hi, Dr. Fuller. Whoops. Oops. Ah, now that's the Marie Oops. that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. <gasps> Evil scientist. If you're gonna shoot. At least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Mr. Drake. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Uh. I came to this island to investigate a death and ended up in your shop. How convenient. Yep. I'm serious. I saw the broken glass and followed the path. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer yep. the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Like, I I'm not quite sure about the red checkered pants with the swirly green vest. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Okie dokie. All right. All right. I might Scholar of the all. unspeakable. Perfect. That's my latest achievement. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. Let's go. Rescue the doctor. Oh, get in the car. Vroom, vroom. I can, I can see a hair already coming out of your nose, sir. Oh. Caca. The book projected Pierce into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of, Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. Bam, bam, bam. He goes from pointing a gun at you and threatening to shoot you to, you need my help in five I know, right? That's what I was thinking too. Uh, he was pretty darn convincing. It wasn't me. Oh, okay. If you say so. Hi, honey. I pray that Colden is really here and alive. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, did I fail? Oh, no, I got it. Okay. The diary of Reverend Wyckoff's Wywood's wife, her husband John, built the first Hawkins home, called Hilltop. At the end of the 17th century, they were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three Old centuries diary. earlier. Yes, we've learned much about them. Do I have to... Do I have to sneak? Do I have to... Would you read the book? <sighs> yes. It changes my destiny every time, but we might as well learn as much as we can. Achievement unlocked. Complete revelation. This catalog 
This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as a reference work of the bestiary of the myth, without giving details in the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorial illusions. Sorry, illustrations. Right, let's put some... We have more? We have four CP. Easy peasy. What the... Four, yes. two. Everyone, everyone is taking sleeping pills. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. This door was locked. That door was locked and we had to go at this door. Oh, okay. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. Uh, I must find her. We run. Moreover, I don't know me. Oh, what the? No. No. Uh, uh, what? My God. What, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Oh, okay. We're just. Going in circles. Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay, so we follow it this way. I'm terribly confused. to change my lantern. I don't see another lantern. It won't let me swap it the way that I normally swap it. So there must be something else that I have to click on. Oh. Uh, okay, and then we go and swap out the lantern and then look at what it wants us to look at, which we did, and then we go swap out the lantern again, 
And then we see where it wants us to go again. Uh oh, oh. Where have I seen this symbol? Where's the other lantern? It used to be here. And now it's not. Oh. We have to... Oh. It's like a weird dimensional puzzle thingamabob. This dimension we go in no we do go in here maybe this puzzle lost you right at the start looks like we need to find the symbols As that thing isn't chasing me, I'm fine. This symbol and that symbol are the same. It's like it's showing me where to go in one dimension and then not showing me where to go in another dimension or something. go in here in this dimension so I'm not quite sure where it wants me to go oh oh there's something over there but I can't reach it because of the wall well that's unhelpful so you can only make one of the symbols go away with the lantern. Uh, once I find the pattern with the blue lantern, and I like absorb it, I think. Because that's the symbol I found, right? I can't make this go away. And then we go over here. I can't, can't make, can't make this go away either. Can't make this go away. Oh, this is not good. I really have to figure out what I need to do because the blue lantern is running out of juice. There's something on this desk that we need to get to, but we can't because of the wall. That door had crazy symbols on it. This door had crazy symbols on it. We went in there once already. Sorry if it's too bright. I can't put the lantern down. Sometimes the glare is a bit too much. 
Or maybe we have to go in here and close that door. Maybe that's what we have to do. Uh, okay, right around the corner. Right around the corner. Ready? Nope, oh, not that one. I don't know. I don't understand. <sighs> We're using portals. Healthy Lamp is using each lamp to remove certain obstacles, such as satanic symbols, doors with the orange lamp, and demonic portals with the green lamp. The green lamp can also be used to activate symbols on walls and floors which are needed for story progression. Also, when using the lantern, you can see the trail, the light trail, always run. When using the lantern that can use the light trail, always run. Okay. We have to remove symbols, remove barriers. Is the symbol on the floor? Symbol on the floor. Yes, we did that. We had the symbol on the floor. Always run. That creeps me out that they, they always run. Enter the hallway and remove the barrier. I can switch lanterns. Head down the same path, but all the way around the hospital and open the door to Fuller's office. Okay. There's Fuller's office again. We can't get there because we need to get rid of... That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Okay, there's something that we need to remove. Just, I have no idea where it is. We have to remove something. I don't know where it is, but we have to remove it. on the bathroom wall. Did we observe it? I ran out of light. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. And where did we go? We went this way. We went this way. No. Here. We burned it away. It is trapped. Okay, and there's something else there that we must remove. Oh, it's it's not here, is it? It's somewhere else. Yes, 
this. Hum dum dum dum. Oh, I think we can. I think we can remove this. Okay, we have to go back into the other area, like into the light light. And open a door. Which we can't do, because all the doors then turn into bricks. <sighs> Unhelpful. I think there's like another dimension room that we have to run into, just like last time. Through the wall. Through the wall. Through the wall. And through the wall because it's just being sassy. And it's through the wall. Can't get in there. I like we're going further and further away as well. didn't open that one. Locked doorway again. Locked doorway. Locked doorway. But I think I must be able to get rid of more... Uh, I must be able to get rid of more of these blocked doorways. Like this one in particular. Right? Yes. Woo! Okay. It was, it was there. We have to like go into different dimensions. Is there something here we have to get rid of? No. I must say that creature is terrifying. That creature is quite scary. I'm gonna guess at this, because of the way that this is set up, it's just going to be a puzzle of trying to sidestep the creature. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ready? It looks so, yes. We had it earlier as well, too. It was... Terrifying. Where, where are we going? What do you mean? Oh. Confronting oh. powers that surpass you. Well, we're doing it. What else are we supposed to do? Way. And we got 
rid of that door. And we went here. And then it went through the wall. Which didn't help us. Okay. So if it went through the wall... Maybe we actually have to go this way. God, we have to go all the way around, don't we? Probably have to open up this door with the strange symbols on it. Anything that's what we have to do. And that is just gonna stay there. We have to walk all the way around each time. <sighs> this game is a sassy pants. And it wants us to use all the lantern. All the lantern uh, uh, power. Can you see what she has in her mouth? Hmm? Can you see what she has in her mouth? Hold it up, hold it up. Oh, or come to me. Hi! Did you get her? Piece of apple that I gave her. Ah, okay. Okay, we're running. We're going, we're running. We open the door. We're not going behind the counter because that's just a giant bait. <laughs> oh, God. That was rude. Sorry, sorry, Hina. So rude. <sighs> okay, what do I have to do with it over here? I opened up Fuller's door. I should be able to use it. my double tapped escape. <sighs> Did open Dr. Fuller's room, so I should be able to get in here when we have the blue lantern. Why do hospitals always have to be mazes? I'm sure they make complete sense if you actually know what you're looking for and what you're doing, but to, you know, to anybody else, they're just mazes. Looks like things are back to normal. Oh, okay. Dr. Fuller gonna catch us as well. Are we gonna be able to save the other doctor? Boom! <gasps> oh, Easy. God! Hina!
I bet you he'll be behind whichever door you choose. Oh, okay. Or they'll all be locked and you have to go through the same one that she did as well. Dr. Colden. Why don't I have my match? I don't have my lantern. Why can't I? Why don't I have my lantern? What's going on? Never ends. in enclosed spaces, I go crazy. I think, oh, oh, oh. Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. Lovely. I must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. No, it's not. Hold No Was idea. Hallucination. Dr. Fulton. <gasps> What's he doing? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. You know, I was thinking he was slightly German. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around. <gasps> no. It can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. Do you admit that they're experiments? I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Tentacles? Murder! This madness must stop! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Whoa. Colden? Wait. She doesn't look as weird anymore. I still can't use my flashlight, though. Oh. Again, we have to do this this lantern nonsense. Maybe we've been in an insane asylum this entire time and this is just going on in our heads. Ah, the painting of me. That would make more sense than whatever happened to you on the way here. <laughs> oh, you know, love crafting voodoo. Oh, it changed. <laughs> we look like we gave our hair a comb. What the? What? Oh. 
I just casually open up a door to a padded cell. The Sarah Hawkins. What did they do to you? I don't think it's what they did to her. I think it's her possession. Curse of Sarah, achievement unlocked. He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? Okay. I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette come with me it's is of the oldest green the violent living vibrant the sea green maybe no no mrs hawkins we must go before someone finds out oh but he will he always knows these things when it's about me oh the valid sand required Oh, eloquently mastered. He told me to get you out of here. Ooh. I can tell a lie when I hear one. Oh, never mind. Well, I don't give a damn who you're talking about. We go now. I guess I should he have spoken know. Cthulhu he will language. Us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go. <laughs> it was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. She... She sees things that he saw. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Okay. We're, we're. we're just... We're just standing here? Okay. This way, follow me. Okay. What the? Oh no. Ooh. Won't get far. Oh, okay. Okay. It was in your studio. Okay, okay. Do we have any skills? No. We have two CP available. Might as well put them here. So we can understand things better. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Okay. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. So it's this way, follow me, and then she stands there. I can't go that way because then they start chasing me. I have to hide in that room? Can't open up any of these doors preemptively to hide in. You probably hide in here. Ugh. Hmm, okay. 
I guess we... Thanks. Nice try. Just, you know, slip around the corner and crouch. It's in the dark. See, it's in the dark. We're, we're totally in the dark. They just knew exactly where I went, which wasn't helpful. Okay. Maybe we run forward. What the? Oh, no. What are you doing? Hey. Oh, we do run forward. <laughs> Easy, peasy, I guess. Okay. Wait. The machine. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Okay. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't it's have time sassy. for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. Okay. Wrong is set right. There's collision. I can't move. Get out of the way. Come on, Sarah Hawkins. You you want this I'd be done? Better off finding a tool. Let's get, put your back into it. Oh. Perfect. Why are you staring at this? Oh, all this water. All right, that should do it. Let's move. Move where? Oh, <gasps> the tentacles. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! Tentacle. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Uh oh. Uh oh. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. <laughs> Stab him through the heart. I'm, I'm just smacking him with it. Come on. Through the heart. No. Why should no. I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Uh. Safety was throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. I found her. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power is what threatens her. <coughs> what? Sarah has seen things, so has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Yes. She's weak, physically and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. <laughs> Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting Is that for why you her. married her? Then... We get rid of its members. Super you are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power 
and the world will fall with her. Don't! Then why no wouldn't one uh, can escape the wheel why doesn't she of destiny, the island? they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Oh, oh, did I choose badly? <gasps> oh, Sarah. She must have been mighty strong to do that, though. Does he regenerate? She's not a feeble woman, after all. He did get that right. He loved you. He always loved you. <gasps> Where did I get that from? After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins, alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah, if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. I mean, we could just kill her. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Well, that's no good. That sounds like she'll sacrifice herself to the cult so that uh, they spare her child or bring My her back from the dead. My work me here in the first place. Mo. Uh oh. She began showing me things. you nothing. We'll leave now. So her paintings You're changed him. Going anywhere. <laughs> the fight that burned down the mansion. You are mine. He was on fire when he ran out of the mansion. And whoosh. the kid knocked his head open. I'm guessing so since they found his like shadow on the floor. But Sarah got out somehow. Oh. Who saved me? The pirate? Oh no, the caretaker saved me. Simon. Come on. It's over now. No, it's not. Never over. As long as I'm alive, it's never over.
the Leviathan is in the deep. <laughs> Two character points earned. What were we finishing up? This one? Six CP needed, four CP needed. Oh, the investigation. Okay. I must put an end to the killings. Not seriously considering exposing yourself to that influence once again. I don't really have a choice, do I? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. <gasps> I woke up. Sarah doesn't have much time. Okay. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? I like his scoff this of indignation. Like, <laughs> a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. What about the necklace that Mr. Hawkins went through to try and find the protection amulet that he stole from the pyramids? You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. Okay, so I she is a thesaurus. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Okay. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. You can't kill an old god. And it slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. I don't owe you, you any obedience. You would risk obedience. destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. What do you think this does? You can't give up, even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? Okay. You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we when she, like, all survive. When she like splays out her fingers like that and right. waves them up and around, it's I'll very weird. Like she's rubber. All right. Go in his office. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care. I think he secretly you. likes her. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. <laughs> How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. <laughs> Feel I'm free to ask me dialect. any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. Chocolate. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. 
I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Things like that should just not be looked at. <sighs> I forget what I'm talking about here. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? Or just be burned in the first place. Absolutely. Sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy You know how lots of old creatures have uh, like creature. black books and stuff? And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection. Able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> it is a golden amulet. Bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find He's it? He's standing very strangely. Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be giving it to her, so. Sketch of a bust. Must be in the house somewhere then. Right? Hey, was, was it Bradley? How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. Oh, oh maybe it's outside. Cold. Have you had any news? Ah, uh, Marie's dead. We're I'm not sorry. Gonna lie. I haven't heard anything from her, but I'm sure she's fine. She must be in the hospital or home. I already checked. She wasn't at home. And no one's seen her in Riverside since you set the cellars on fire. Oh, no, he's going no to. No more than you're telling me. Yeah. I'm certainly not as good a detective as the great Edward Pierce, but I still know when someone's lying to me. I'm sorry. Kind of looks like a troll. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. Oh, don't worry, he's what dead, What do you too. say, Pierce? Are you with me? Oh, God. Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have... Am I, like, turning into the Leviathan every about? time I, like, sprout What's this cultist nonsense? Destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been oh, in vain. Oh, oh, you just told him. The voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Oh, you just said it. You said it. There's no beard. They did that last time as well too, where, where um, they were, they were talking, and I didn't give the answer away. But then the next, the next thing I chose, gave the answer away. If I can go outside, I bet you anything, it's in the garden or something. the graveyard a 
I'd be better off if I went to see the others. Maybe we show Sarah and she'll know where it is. Oh, oh, there's busts. No beard. This gross thing. I noticed that one the first time we were in this library. hidden in some place. I think there's another something somewhere. Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in. But at least I didn't dream it. At least you didn't. But can't go outside. Must be inside somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. No. And, oh man, I was so excited there for a moment. I know where that one is. That's where we woke up. Right, the bedroom. Okay. Okay. It was up here where we were. Woke up. This is easier. Oh, is it in the box? Oh. This Ooh. is the amulet that Drake was looking for. To affect your destiny. Oh. Achievement unlocked the amulet of the ancients. And we got a character point. Oh, I 
just noticed something. Sanity. What is my sanity? No idea. Okay. Okay. But we have a sanity thing. Show the amulet to Drake. Do we show it to Drake? Because it kind of feels like he's going to be using it instead of Sarah. I feel like we should just give it to Sarah. Of course, I'm outvoted by the game. Ah, uh, it's you again. Yes, it's me again. <sighs> I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. Mm. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. You're super weird, dude. Okay, let's go find Mrs. Hawkins running all over this giant house for no reason. Probably cold as heck though, too. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yep. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Why wouldn't he just come down and tell me that instead of yelling at it from the stairs? Yes, sir. I will deal with that. You sure? All right. Have we forgotten that he uh, survived death from the tentacle man? He's probably the living embodiment of the Leviathan right now. And you just gave him Sarah. You, a lot lately. you seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Are they here to arrest me? For what? Have identified you as the one who set fire of course it's gonna end badly. Of course, of course. There's tentacles and stuff involved too. Exactly. That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet which is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter, the painter told him of her desire to track and kill the Dimensional Shambler in order to atone to her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. Yup. Women, am I right? But we are, <laughs> this is apparently chapter 12, and there's still 17 chapters, so we're five, we, st we still have five chapters to go. Um, so after, after this little cutscene here, we will call it a night, and we'll continue this on Wednesday. Which I know would, you know. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Probably us getting well, out of this I situation. Hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival what, on What is this? This is body movement. Twice. Aggression. Insulting behavior. And to top it all, arson.
Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You are being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious in what you've said. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. We Don't didn't you worry. start the fire. I'll find some. Oh, you're going to waste you're gonna, you're gonna plant evidence? Me, while terrible things are happening on this island. Yes, because they're all yeah? influenced by the so Leviathan. So what's going on that I don't know about? Uh, <laughs> a dangerous cult does that work? I think you just laugh at me. This the case is far from Hawkins cult. Mansion is just a tree hiding the forest. You contented yourself with the so-called proof that was given to you without asking yourself any other questions. It may seem odd, but unlike you, we base our investigations on facts. Yeah, you said that already. Not on vague theories. And despite all that, you fail to see the truth. The only truth that I see is that you're finally where you belong, degenerate. Come on, I'll oh, show wow. you to your new he pulled residence. out the D word. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced. He really doesn't like me now. Advanced questioning, no aka torture. Good night. Truth serum. <laughs> You're ridiculous, Captain. Absolutely ridiculous. Mr. Pierce, oh. the truth seeker. We meet at last. Yeah, hi. It's me. Who's there? Oh. Making a rain. Oh. More than just rain. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Oh. Oh. Now I'm drowning, of course. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak. Or escape my influence. Uh, I don't. I don't want to do any of these because I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it on Wednesday when we continue this. The great old one is hiding in the prison. Nice. Yeah. Exactly. Right where he belongs. Right. It did save. It did save before when the Leviathan started speaking. It saved. So, we can continue this Wednesday when we. Uh, when we uh when we continue thank you ending on a cliffhanger exactly just like the minecraft shorts exactly we're gonna raid josh though because he's playing the forest and that's gonna be a heck of a fun also kara you're still here i thought you would have been sleeping already i think grabs fell asleep and I will see you either tomorrow for more Oxygen Not Included, or on Wednesday for more Oxygen Not Included, and the ending of Call of Cthulhu. I'll see you guys later. What a cliffy. I know, right? Hi, Gabe. <laughs>